Uh, let us consider one more truss to construct the influence line diagrams for various members. Generally in the examination, the influence line diagrams for one top chord member, one bottom chord member, one vertical member and one diagonal members were asked. So therefore let's consider one top chord member U1, U2, one bottom chord member L1, L2, one vertical member and one diagonal member. So if you are able to construct influence line diagrams for these four members, then for any of the remaining member, you can construct influence line diagram very easily. Let's consider first top chord member. Say member U1, U2. So U1, U2 is a top chord member. So in case of top chord member, so to construct influence line diagram, so we have to locate the opposite joint. So directly we can find out the ordinate, maximum ordinate of influence line diagram. So for top chord and bottom chord member, the maximum ordinate of influence line diagram will occur at opposite joint and is given by the moment at the opposite joint divided by the distance between, the perpendicular distance between the member and the joint. So now for this, the opposite joint for U1, U2, the opposite joint is L2. So therefore, the maximum ordinate of IND, the maximum ordinate of IND will occur at opposite joint L2 and is given by is given by force maximum force in member that is u1 u2 is equal to moment at the opposite joint m l2 divided by h h is the perpendicular distance between the member and the joint say let's say this h h is the perpendicular distance that we have to find out from geometry so say this is h1 let's say this h1 so h1 that we have to calculate so what is h1 if we know the angle theta what is theta so this tan theta is equal to 4.5 divided by 9 so the theta will be equal to 26.56 degree so this is theta if you know the theta, what is h1? So u sin theta, considering that right angle triangle, this right angle triangle, h1 divided by 6. h1 divided by 6. So h1 will be equal to 6 into sin 26.56 and this you will get 2.68 meter. So once you know the perpendicular distance between the member and the opposite joint, then this force F U1 U2 is equal to what is moment? Moment is the left hand distance of the joint that is A into B right hand distance divided by span and this H1. So what is A when unit load is flexed here? If your location of or position of unit load is here. Then this is A is 6 meter, B is 12 meter divided by total span 18 into 2.68. So this is, this comes out to be 1.49. And the nature of this force, because this is top chord member, will be compression the top chord member will be under compression. Now you just draw the influence line diagram for this member. Say take a reference line. Member U1, U2. Member U1, U2. 
So opposite joint is L2. So maximum ordinate of ILG will be under L2 and it's a linear variation. The ordinates at the supports are 0. So it's a triangle. So this is 1.49 and positive. This is ILG for member U1, U2. Now similarly, let's construct ILG for member bottom chord member L1, L2. Let's consider member L1, L2. Now here also for top chord and bottom chord we can use the same strategy that is the maximum ordinate of ILD will occur at opposite joint and is given by F L1 L2 is equal to what is the opposite joint opposite joint for this is U1 so with consider the triangle with L1 L2 as base Apex is U1, so opposite joint is U1. So therefore, moment at U1, so U1 is the opposite joint, divided by M, U1 divided by, say, H2. H2 is this distance. H2 is the perpendicular distance. So this is H2. H2, H2 is this distance that we can find out. So H2, what is then H2? So to find out this H2, again we can use this tan theta tan theta equal to H2 divided by 3. So H2 equal to 3 into tan of 26.56 and this you will get H2 equal to 1.49. Therefore, force F L1 L2 equal to moment when unit load is placed at U1. So this is the line of action of unit load that is U1 or L1. If unit load is at L1, then left hand distance is 3, right hand distance is 50 divided by total span 18 into H2 1.49. So the ordinate, maximum ordinate of ILD is now given by 1.67 and this is a bottom part member therefore this is in tension. So this is the bottom part members are always in tension, top part members are always in compression. Now the ILD or bottom part member that is L1, L2, so opposite maximum ordinate will be under opposite joint so this is 1.67 and this is minus 1.67 that is minus now next so we have completed ILD for one top card member one bottom card member as marked in the figure. Now next, the next member is a vertical. Let's consider U2 L2 and the diagonal member U2 L3. Now for vertical and diagonal members, we don't have such direct formula to get the influence line diagram, but by using section method and equilibrium conditions, we can find out the force in the members for various positions of unit load and then we can draw the variation of this force along the span. Now next member, vertical member U2 L2. So let's consider member member U2 L2. Now for member U2 L2, so in order to find out the force in the member let us take a section, say 
passing through that member and that section should not cut maximum number of members more than three. So, and you say since this member is vertical and other two members in which the section is passing, they are meeting at n log. So, use the equilibrium condition in such a way that the other two members, their forces should become zero and only we will get the force in the method, in the member. So now, see, means by taking moment about L0 and considering either left or right part of the section depending upon the position of unit load, we can find out the force. That means when unit load is on left of section or just consider the joint just left on the section, apply equilibrium condition that is take moment about L0 for right part, apply equilibrium condition for right part. Now, when this, now left joint, just left joint is L2 and when we take the moment about L0 by considering RHS, right hand side part, the moment of reaction will be anti-clockwise. The moment of force in the member on right hand side should be clockwise. This is anti-clockwise means the nature on the right of the section, the force should be downward, means away from the joint. That is, the nature is tension. So that means, how you will do the calculations, you just write when, when unit load, when unit load is on left of section 1, 1. So then, uh, by using this condition, summation M about L0 equal to 0 for RHS. Right hand side you apply this. So the moment of the force in member that is F U2 L2. So member is vertical, the perpendicular distance is 3 and 3, 6. So this is into 6 is equal to the reaction x by L and their distance is from L0, it is 80. So L is also 18, remember L is also 18. This equation is applicable 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 6. So minimum value of x is 0, maximum is 6. So at x equal to 0, force will be 0, no doubt. And x equal to 6 and variation is linear. So you put x equal to 6. What is the force F U2 L2 equal to X is 6, L span is 80 into this 80 and this 6. So this is 1. Force is 1. Force is 1. Now, <clears throat> but see the nature, tension, therefore this is in tension. Now when, next, when, unit load is on right of section 1 1. So again apply the same condition summation m about L naught equal to 0 but for LHS. But for LHS. So on LHS when unit load passes the section or when unit position of unit load is here say unit load is here, then on the left only we have force in the member and this is upward means again you will get downward. But what happens here, the moment of reaction about L0 is 0 and that's why if you want to write down the expression, expression will be like this, F U2 L2 into 6 equal to L minus X upon L into this is 0. So ultimately, the applicability of this is minimum distance L3 to L6, that is 9 to 80. 9 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 80. But this is multiplied by 0, whatever is the position, the force is always 0. Force is in the member is always 0. Let's draw the influence line diagram for this. Member vertical member U2 L2 vertical member U2 L2 
nature extension unit here it is 1 and here it is 0 then for further for any position of unit load it is 0 say this is minus and this ordinate is 1 this is 1 so this is the ID for member U2 L2 now next the last member let's consider the diagonal member let us consider the diagonal member so for diagonal member we have to u2 l3 let's take this section 2 2 so section 2 2 now member u2 l3 member u2 l3 ld for member u2 l3 now here again the perpendicular distance now which condition now we have to use the section method no doubt and which condition is to be used in order to get the force in the member that this member the other two members in which the section 2 2 is passing they are meeting at the joint l naught if we take the moment of forces about l naught so you, we will get the force in the member u2 l3 directly but what is required we require a perpendicular distance between the member so extend this member and draw a perpendicular line here this is 90 degree and say this is h3 so this is required that perpendicular distance h3 is required from line of action of this member and the joint about which the moments are to be taken now when again let's con consider when unit load is on left of section 2 2 left of section 2 2 say that is at say consider joint L2 joint L2 so apply summation m about L naught equal to 0 and for RHS this is applied for right hand side of the truss section now this moment of force u2 L3 into H3 equal to X by L into AT applicability 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 6 so l2 up to l2 this is applicable position of moving load up to l2 now here means we substitute when x is 0 ordinate is 0 x equal to 6 that ordinate we have to calculate <coughs> now how to calculate h3 so you first find out this angle alpha so this tan alpha <coughs> tan alpha is equal to this opposite distance that you calculate from this is actually you will get 3 by 3 this is 1 alpha equal to 45 degree <coughs> so knowing alpha then for this triangle so sin theta sorry sin alpha equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse is 9 so h3 you will get 9 into sin 45 so the h3 distance will be 6.36 6.36 now let's calculate the force f u2 l3 into 6.36 equal to x you take 6 divided by 18 into 18 so this gets cancelled and you get the force f u2 l3 equal to f u2 l3 equal to 0 0.94 0 0.94 and what is the nature nature on the right so when we consider right of the section this is anti-clockwise force should be the moment due to the force in the member should be clockwise so this is the force on the right so compression nature is compression now <clears throat> when we consider right hand side then again we have to take the uh, when we consider position of unit load on the right of the section 
again we have to take the moment about L0 and the moment of this reaction is 0 and the force in the member will be 0. So let us write down the, how you will do the calculations. So when unit load is on the right of the section, when the unit load is on, instead of left, you write down right of section 2 2 and again you take the moment about L naught equal to 0 but consider LHS. So let us consider LHS. So now here the moment will be like this F U2 L3 into H3 is equal to L minus X upon L and their distance is 0. So this applicability is from L3 that is uh, 9 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 18. This is the applicability of this equation. Minimum value of X is 9, maximum value is 18. But this multiplied by 0, whatever is the position, so this force becomes 0. That means let us draw the ILD. Let us complete the ILD for this. Member U2 L3. Member U2 L3. <coughs> and nature is compression. Nature is compression here. So, say this is 0.94 and sorry, 0.94 should be at L2. And then here it is 0, L3 it is 0. So, this is 0.94 and this is plus. This is ILD for member U2 L3. Now next let us consider one more truss. So and I will give you the one truss for practice. So you can construct ILD for various members for indicated members only for the given truss. Now one more problem we will complete. Now here let us consider a truss like this. and supports are at the end. So these are the supports, simple support or one hinge other ruler. And the reaction here left hand side for any position of unit load reaction is L minus X upon L. For this reaction is X by L. For any position of moving load at a distance X. Now here the unit load will move, will run on a top chord member. Say this is a unit load. That if this distance is x, remaining l minus x, then the reactions, the expressions for reactions will get like this. Let us consider the depth or height of the truss as 4 meter. So this is 4 meter and total span is 24 meter about each panel equal to 4 meter. So this is the total span. Now let us construct influence line diagrams for the various members. Say the top chord member, you take this top chord member, 
then you take this bottom part member, this vertical, this diagonal, and one more vertical member. It's a typical one. So upper chord members, you give the names, say U1, then U2, U3, U4, U5, U6, and U7. Then L1, L2, L3, L4, L5 are the lower chord members. So unit load is moving here because top chord is supported at the end and unit load is moving on the top chord. So let's construct influence line diagrams for the members as marked in the figure. So first top chord member U2, U3. Let's consider member U2, U3. ID for member U2, U3. So this is a top chord member. We know top chord members are in compression. So the opposite, locate the opposite joint for U2, U3. L2 is the opposite joint. So maximum ordinate of this will occur at the opposite joint. L will be a triangle. And member is under compression. So this is the ID. Member U2, U3. ID for member U2, U3. What is this ordinate? Maximum ordinate of the triangle is given by the maximum ordinate of ILD will occur at opposite joint, what is the opposite joint? L2 and is given by at force U2 U3 equal to moment at L2 divided by H. H is the perpendicular distance between the member and the opposite joint. So this is A into B divided by L into H. Now H, what is H? H is 4 meter. That perpendicular distance is 4 meter. So this A and mem force um, L2, not uh, U3, top part member you can see that. So because unit load is moving on this top part, so opposite joint is uh, no, opposite joint is L2, right. Opposite joint is L2. Now when unit load is at L2 or U3, corresponding joint of L2 is U3. So left hand distance here is this 8 into sixteen divided by span is 24, H is 4. Now this ordinate you will get 4 by 3. This is equal to 4 by 3 and top chord member will be under compression. So this is 4 by 3. Now bottom chord member we know the bottom chord members are in tension and again exactly similar way this member say L2, L3. Locate the opposite joint for L2, L3 again opposite joint is U3. <coughs> that is exactly above L2. So opposite joint is exactly about L2. So the diagram will be like this. Because these two members, both the members are parallel to each other and joints are one above the other. So only the nature will be different and ordinate is same. Means when you consider member, say bottom chord member, L2, L3. So maximum ordinate of ILD is given by F L2, L3 equal to opposite joint is U3, M U3 divided by H. This is A